Hey mate, and welcome to Old Mate Adventures. Hi, I'm Kel. And I'm Jed. In 2021, we quit the grind, sold everything and hit the road for a semi-retirement life. Follow us as we trek, camp and hunt our way around Australia and beyond. Uh, just on the way to Finnegan Island boat ramp. Uh, it's still a little breezy, just not too sure what this wind's doing. It's supposed to drop off uh, and high tide is about now. Uh, it was super windy earlier this morning, but um, anyway, it's just off a weekend. It's Monday, so hopefully it will be pretty, um, pretty quiet. There won't be too many people out there. But yeah, we'll see what this wind's doing. If not, I'll just troll around. Um, yeah, I had nothing on today and Kel's working, so I thought uh, might as well just chuck the tinny on, go for a burn around, see what the water's like. Inside here looks lovely. It's just what it looks like out there. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Might find a bit of nature. Yeah, not too sure how it's going to look like. Um, I'm going to punch out the mouth of the inlet here, have a bit of a look and see what happens. Um, I'll probably go like half a mile out, see what it looks like, if it's uh, a little bit how you're going, because this wind's sort of blowing offshore a little bit, so it looks pretty good here. But uh, once I get out a little bit further, it might be a bit shitty. I don't know. The wind is supposed to die down. Well, it's dying down now. I looked at it before. And... But yeah, we all know wind predictions. We'll give it a crack. It drops down to about eight, nine meters behind that bit of reef. And it's, uh, and, the, and there's no weed here. Which is weird. The other side of it's chockers with weed. This side of it's um, nice and clean. Anyway, thought I might uh, waste half an hour and just trawl up here, turn around, trawl back. Never know. Probably got a cod here. Just on the trawl on the way back. Here's a good one. Finally. 
is that? That's my biggest cod on the tinny. Bloody awesome. 57. So yeah, uh, it'll be dinner. Good times. Just when I'd given up all hope, came through. Anyway, I'll um, neck him and brain spike him and that. And sort him out. I uh, just use the icky pick brain spike. Trying to put it through the tinny. Just like that. And he's done. Gone. He's gonna find the spot. Lovely. All sorted-ish. Uh, I'm just gonna go and trawl that same line. to being sized. Oh, no way. That is awesome. I'm going to quickly measure him. I doubt he'll be sized. He'll be just under, I reckon. Yeah. He's my uh, biggest coral trout at uh, 42 centimetres. Oh, well that's it, I'm going to call it. I uh, just got that one cod, which is uh, which is heaps for Kel and I for dinner. It was awesome. Uh, and way better than I thought was going to happen. I honestly um, gave up hope by the end. <laughs> and just then I lost that, um, that lure that was just firing. So I'll have to track down another one of them. Because, uh, yeah, it came in a three pack. I've only got the one darker one left, but that multicolored one was just getting smashed. And that was my biggest cold trout. Haven't quite got a size one yet, but uh, it'll come one day. Just gonna keep chipping away. Anyway, this tide is rushing out, so I'm only 1.3 meters here. So I could get me shit sorted. parcel delivered today that Jed knows nothing about yet um, and I told the sender that I would 
film when I gave it to him. So just heading up to the caravan, I'll just spin this around. Hello? Hi. 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 Got something for you. Is it a present? Might be. Don't look at anything on it, just open it. Is it snakes? Just open it. Way to spoil the bloody surprise. <laughs> Chef sent me some snakes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that is a massive pack of snakes. 1.3 kilo, apparently. Shit, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> I just ran out yesterday too. You did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've launched at uh, Finnegan Island again. The wind is still fairly strong offshore, but and the tide's coming in. So most of the time, I've been fishing outgoing tide or the top of the high tide. And I was talking to a fella at work the other day, a bit of a guru fisherman. And he was sort of saying, uh, don't fish the um, fish the low tide and the incoming tide. So anyway, that's what I'm going to try and do. It's uh, semi neap tides at the moment, so the tides aren't super huge, which I'm not too sure if that's going to aid in my fishing abilities or not. It's midweek, which is awesome. There's um, there's no one at the boat ramp. This wind is supposed to drop down. Uh, we'll soon see. I'm not going to punch it um, way out the back there. Uh, I'm just going to stick in close, go for a bit of a trawl. I've got no bait or anything. I've got the throw net and might just punch over there to the sand flats and see if I can grab a couple of mullet or something. See how we go. I'm just navigating my way through some sandbars. Uh, the tide's coming in, so it's only going to get uh, better. Just going to punch over there. Yeah, have a look around the sand flats, see if there's uh, any mullet around. Throw the net out. See if I can get a couple of liveies. And try and punch out around the corner. And, um, and yeah, chuck a livey out. Might even anchor, I don't know. It's a bit of swell, so... Um, just see how we go. I'm um, only in a couple of meters of water, but I just went over a, um, I think they had a little trevally. So I'll just chuck a, um, I'll just drift back over and just throw a little metal slice at them and see if I can pick one up. Whiting. It'll do. Little sand whiting. Lovely.
going to head over to a, a creek just over here, see if we can get some mullet. I'll say something. him up and I'll use those liveys first worst case scenario uh, this little fella will go in the smoker couple of little trebs for the smoker worst case scenario and uh, just chuck them on ice and bled them and brain spiked them uh, the wind was supposed to be offshore and it looks like it's now coming in so I'm just gonna go to the mouth have a bit of a look and see what it's like uh, yeah it might be might be shit house uh, we'll see. I uh, might chuck a livey, might anchor up and chuck a livey out. I don't know, something to do. Let's see how we go. Water is super dirty, crazy dirty. Uh, there's too much weed here. And it's pretty shallow, so I'm just going to go a little bit further up to one of my other spots and give that a crack. Flag. Oh, he's a good flag. Whoa, just got him in. Sweet. Got a little flag. Uh, he's 34. Happy days. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to slowly troll back and um, see if I can pick something else up. Other than that, I've got the, uh, a couple of small trevally I'll chuck in the smoker uh, and the Spanish flag. If I can pick up another flag, that'll be um, That'll be dinner. Little 
Dakota thing. Big flag, big flag. <laughs> or oh, big earth flag. Bloody lovely. Woohoo! There you go. Spanish flag on the troll. It's mid 30s again. Bloody lovely. That's dinner. seen a heap of fish on the sounder on the bottom there. Might chuck one of these liveys on, send it down, see what happens. A little liveys. They're obviously not big fish. Big arches there. Bag of Trev and some Spanish flag.